What's up, YouTube? This is Gil Daddy, and this is my beautiful wife. I call her Gil Mama. <laughs> uh, today, I just came on uh, YouTube to let everybody know what we do for a living. We don't have conventional jobs like most people out there. <laughs> we don't have conventional jobs like most people do. We run an eBay business. And so far in the last year, it's been pretty rewarding and uh, it's been growing quite a bit. Um, we're on our way right now. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. We're on our way to thrift store outlet to go treasure hunting. If you've ever seen those shows like uh, Storage Wars, American Pickers, shows like that, that's kind of what we do. We go out, we hunt for treasures. Uh, depending on the day, we might go out for a couple hours. Some days we might go out for three, four hours. Just, just depends on if we what we feel like doing. But we go out and we search. We search with our smartphones. We look stuff up on eBay, and then we come back. We clean the items. We stick them on eBay. Uh, right now, we uh, we're doing uh, probably little, we're averaging a little over ten thousand dollars a month in sales and growing. And I'm going to start coming on here on uh, YouTube and giving everybody some advice, some tips, and tricks on how they can do the same thing. Uh, just a little background information. Um, I was, uh, I, I used to have my own business. I, I used to uh, run a tool, tool truck. You know, like uh, I was a, a tool truck, a tool distributor around my, my local area. Now, that, that business cost me a lot of money to get into. I got into it. And uh, it was about a year before the economy really started to tank. But my first year, I did awesome. I was like, man, I love this job. This job is just cool. You know, I get to go out, do my own thing, and uh, make money and visit with people, which I love people. I love working with people. And about a year after that, I noticed a decline in my sales. I mean, everything started going down. Um, I started wondering, you know, how am I going to make this? And then I realized real quickly that, you know, I, I didn't buy a business. I bought a job because I was out there every single day, you know, working my butt off. And if I want to take a vacation, well, I wouldn't make any money. Well, eventually I gave that business up. I just said, you know what? I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And I went to work like most of you guys probably do, probably have a job. And I was, I was working that job. My wife was working a, a full-time job. We were both working. We have two two beautiful kids. And, you know, we just... I started doing eBay on the side. I started uh, going back. I've been selling on eBay off and on since, like, 2000. But, you know, I would take a break for a while, and then I'd get heavily back into it, and then I'd take a break for a while. And I never really made a lot of money at it because I never treated it like a business. Well, I started going back to eBay and going to work and going to college full time and just a little here and there and then I soon realized that you know doing eBay just a few hours a week you know I was making a decent side income and so eventually I decided I don't want to work anymore I want to do this full time so I did I started doing eBay full time and started putting the systems to it started learning from my mistakes and I started from the very bottom. You know, I went from selling $100, you know, $100 a month and to where we are now. And and I started selling on eBay full time. It was probably about a year ago that I really sat down and started selling full time. And my wife was still working for about another two, three months. And then I finally I told her, hey, you quit your job and we'll both do this. So she quit her job and we started doing eBay. And there's a lot of places that you can get things to sell on eBay. I mean, it's the, the sky's the limit. I mean, there's Craigslist, there's there's thrift stores, there's yard sales, there's wholesalers, there's China, there's there's just all sorts of places. And the problem is people don't know what to buy, what to sell, how to make it work. Well, I'm gonna start posting the video and letting everybody know how we do it. And hopefully it'll help you guys. So stay tuned and subscribe if you wanna see more. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right, we're done shopping at uh, one place today. I think this is the only place we're going to go today. Um, I'm going to show you this receipt here. 
and it's backwards in my screen, but um, you can see how much we got charged today. Anyways, uh, just a few of the things we found today. So what was that? $16.70 total. And uh, a few things we found today. All right, here's a couple of things we got today. Uh, here's some uh, rock band guitars. These go for probably around 30, 35 bucks a piece. All right, and uh, here's some Caruso Curlers Vintage. Um, they go for anywhere between 15 to 30, just depends on the condition. Remotes, love remotes. Um, any more, basically we only get remotes if they sell for $10 or more. Some of these are worth 20, some of them are worth 10. This one I think is 10 to 20. Polaroid cameras, those sell good in big lots. Anything Sony. And uh, lots of these guys here. Littlest pet shops. Littlest pet shops. Yeah, Sarah knows. Right? <laughs> Littlest pet shops. Put those in a big lot and you get quite a bit out of those. Uh, also, let's see, we had some kind of real estate property course. Uh, brand new. All of them are brand new. They sell, we got a whole bunch of them there. They sell for about $20, $20, dollars a piece, and we got. A bunch there, and we got more in there. And then also, we got a disc changer, um, a Yamaha, and what does this one go for? Uh, anywhere from 50 to 100. 50 to 100 dollars for this one here. So, there's just a quick. Alright, so yeah, it's 1102, 1103 now. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is we got some uh, carpet cleaning attachments. Just attachments to go to a carpet cleaning machine. And we'll get probably about 50, 60 dollars out of those. And uh, that's our stop for today. All right, so we're leaving uh, another thrift shop. We decided to stop by before we went home to package our shipments for the day. And the wife found one thing at this place. This is a Shackley or Shakely, I honestly don't know how you say it. Uh, air purifier for its air source. I paid $5.99 for it and it can sell for $80 to $100. All right. All right, so one more thrift store because it's right next door and we'll see if we find anything in that one. Later. All right, here's the uh, other thrift store here. And we only found a couple things here too, but hey, it's money, right? So let's see what kind of shit we got. <laughs> All right, keep in mind the wife's doing a... Uh, bridal shower, baby bridal, shower. Bridal and baby shower, so we gotta... We got some extra silly little stuff here for her, but all right. So uh, curlers, always always look at curlers. I do, um, especially if they're clean. I don't got to spend too much time cleaning them up. Those are pretty clean. Those cost uh, three dollars and ninety five cents. You can see the price tag on it, and they go for about twenty five. All right, this I have no clue what it is, but it looked cool, so I looked it up. Infinity foot control. Um, like I said, no clue what it goes to, but I'm sure I can plug it in and figure it out when I get home. Uh, $5.95, uh, I should be able to get $39.99 out of it, 40 bucks. And that's just two items. Now we gotta head home because we got stuff to ship out today. Um, I know we're on our way back home right now. Um, just to let you know, the reason why we only spent $16 and some change at the first thrift store is because it's, it's an outlet store. It's where the thrift stores pretty much, when they go through it, they throw all their junk into a bin, they send it over there, and uh, you got people like me, and there's other people there too that they dig. You know, you dig through these giant bins, and uh, I know that uh, Goodwill has them around all over the country too in different spots. If you're lucky enough to live by one of those, you can go in and buy stuff by the pound. And, you know, you, you've seen the amount of stuff we got. I mean, we got probably close to 200, maybe a little more dollars uh, profit just off spending $16. And, uh, I mean, that's amazing. I mean, so, I mean, if, if, you, if you guys are out there and you're working for $9, 10 11 $12 an hour, I mean, you can go and find some things at a thrift store and you can make well over that. Now, that's not all we do. You know, we still got to take this stuff home. We got to make sure everything works, even though we do test in the stores just to make sure, you know, the best we can. But we get home, we got we to gotta clean the items, we got to take pictures, and we got to write descriptions. It's a lot easier when there's two of us. But anybody can do this. And anybody can do it at home. I mean, you can even do it uh, in your spare time and make some extra money. So if you want to see more videos, just uh, subscribe below and I'll keep posting them. So talk to you later.